situation really needs to get sorted. It really needs to get nailed down. Seamus Coleman is 30... Was he 36 next month? 36 next month. Um, so he's going to continue to pick up injuries like we saw. So the manager can't rely on him. And I think the manager loves his experience. And I get why. Seamus Coleman is still our best right back. But do you have to sacrifice that level of experience for a consistency? Or is it better to just go, oh, no, no, Seamus plays three games and then he's out for two games and then he's back for three games and he's or he's back for five games. Is it better to have that and have a better player? Or is it better to say, Patterson's a little bit not as good as him, but he plays... Ev I'm, don't get me wrong, Pat, uh, I realise while I'm saying that that Patterson's injury record is probably worse than Seamus Coleman's. So it's, it's, not a, it's not a given. Yeah. But do you have to, or for any right-back, say... Do you know what? We need a level of consistency because if we're trying to defend and we're trying to play as a unit, we do need four players in every week that we can basically rely on. Yeah, definitely. But the issue with that is, like you've just added on, Patterson's injury record is quite worrying as well. The most consistently available right-back at the club is Ashley Young. Mm, and for me, he's third best right-back at the club. Yeah. And then you've also got Roman Dixon, who we don't know enough about his game yet in terms of where he ranks in the hierarchy, but we know he's an exciting young player with a burst of pace, which the others mm. don't have. So... That's an issue for me. It's a bit of a joke that we'll be going through another year of uncertainty mm. at right back where, you know, we don't really know who our starting right back is because Seamus is the best, but obviously his injury record mm. and his age, you, even if he is available, you don't want to be playing him twice a week come December regardless. Mm. Patterson, again, A, his injury record, B, he's not shown that consistency on the pitch. I don't mm. think he's been dreadful, by the way, defensively, I really don't, but... It's the fact that he can't piece those performances together. Mm. He's had some good showings in an Everton shirt. Yeah. He had a really good performance against Liverpool mm. at home, where he pelted it off Andy Robertson's face. Not only did he play well, but it was also very funny. Yeah. But, um, it's always funny when something happens to he's him. Ha he's had good showings, but he doesn't yeah. piece those consistent games together, yeah. and he doesn't have consistent fitness. So mm. it, it's hard to gamble on him as your long-term right-back. If he's showing signs in his recovery now and in training, and obviously he's put a bit of muscle on mm. as well, if the um, the fitness team are confident that Nathan Patterson's mm. going to be able to stay on the pitch and be able to do 20 games in a row, yeah. then, yeah, commit to Nathan Patterson, commit to that level of certainty, and commit to your future as well, because he's a young lad. But, you, again, it's it's big ifs there. Yeah. No, I think Patterson, Patterson, yeah, you're absolutely right. The, fit, the injury record... Is very, very poor. And he has to get himself a run of games. Now, is it a trust issue with the injuries or does the manager not face him? It fancy him. You know, it's been a it's, it's been a bit of a slap in the face to the lad, to be honest. Um is Everton career so far. If he's back and he's fit, it'll be interesting to see what happens with him, what what where he is. He needs games and he has to just he has to start. It'd be interesting because he has he has been out since April, hasn't he? So April till what mid September. That's quite a long time. Now, if he's got other injury problems, who knows? Those injury problems might have settled down. Sometimes players play with numerous injuries, and you know it's like when Richarlison got injured for Spurs and he had to have that operation. It was like the best thing that could have happened to him. Because the operation give give him a chance for all his other problems to settle down, and then just your little niggles and, and everything. Then, yeah. yeah, so instead of playing seventy five percent fit and not being able to do what you're good at, playing a hundred percent and then suddenly being into I'm pay, I'm pain free, I'm I've got all my mobility, I can get up and down that side. Um, I think that's I think that's really important. So hopefully he comes back and because as I said Seamus Coleman shouldn't be playing every single week and and he certainly what we saw on Saturday is games are, games are starting to games are starting to catch up with people the the intensity of the game someone is aged the intensity of the game